So my top five tackle box essentials are as follows. Firstly, the lighter. For me, if I turned up to the lake and I didn't have a lighter with me, I would be absolutely livid. Firstly, I wouldn't be able to light my stove, so I wouldn't be able to have a brew or cook any food, because I don't have a, a stove that has one of those igniters on it, so I'd be lost without the lighter for that. But from the fishing point of view, I use the lighter a lot. I tend to fish with D-rig bottom baits, or a hinge stiff rig, or a 360 rig. All three of those rigs incorporate a mini hook ring swivel, I attach my hook baits using the blob method. And that involves putting some floss through a hook bait, and then using the lighter to burn the tag ends of the floss and uh, putting the molten end flush against the back of the bait and that helps to secure the bait on. So without the lighter, I wouldn't be able to use my three favourite rigs. I'd have to come up with a different way of attaching the hook baits and that would just mash my mind up and ruin my confidence straight away. So following on from the lighter, the next essential item for me is a bait drill and cork sticks. I like to use the hinge stiff rig a lot in my fishing. Um, I don't really have the time or the inclination to spend hours rolling my own cork ball pop-ups. I'm not carpy enough for that. So I tend to use off-the-shelf pop-ups as they come. Now, because I could be leaving a, a rig out for 48 hours at times, I need to be in the utmost confidence that my pop-up is going to stay popped up off the deck for that whole time. Um, a few years ago I was fishing a very deep lake called Bundy's Pit. You could be fishing in 40 or 50 foot of water. Again, you needed to ensure that you had a really buoyant hook bait that was going to resist the water pressure and stay popped up. So what I like to do is I take my pop-ups, I drill them out, put a cork insert in, trim it down, and that uh, allows me to know that I've got a um, naturally consistent buoyancy in my pop-up. It doesn't matter if the pop-up absorbs a bit of water, I know that this cork stick is going to ensure that the buoyancy isn't affected. Next product that I couldn't do without are hook links. Now, I know technically I should just pick one hook link, but my fishing's too uh, varied to be able to do that. So there's two hook links in particular that are really invaluable. Um, one of them, the Camatex Semi-Stiff, has been uh, in my armory for a few years now. It's such a versatile material, I can use it for the boom sections on my hinge rigs, use it for the main section on a 360 rig, I can also use it for bottom bait rigs as well. It's got enough stiffness in it to help prevent tangles, but it's still got enough suppleness in it to ensure that it can lie well on the bottom. So that's a really, really important material for me. This past season, I have been doing quite a bit of fishing on a snaggy venue, and I've also been to France this year and fished on a river which was also very snaggy. Um, you need to have really, really strong hook links. And uh, I started off with the normal hook links that I would uh, use um, on my syndicate lake that's snaggy, and they just weren't up to the job. And I said to myself, if something doesn't uh, perform once for me, it's out of the game, and it has to be replaced with something that's going to that's gonna do the job. And uh, I came across the camo, camo splice. Now, this was originally designed for the European anglers, and I doubt that that many guys in the UK use it. But if you're fishing on a very, very snaggy venue where hit and hold tactics are a, a common occurrence, and your hook link can be coming into contact with really a, a strong, uh, sharp, snaggy items, then the camera splice is brilliant. It's 50 pound breaking strain, and it's a spliceable hook link. So use a splicing needle, you attach your, your swivel or your hook via a splice, you can put your loop in the other end with a splice to attach to a quick change swivel. Um, and yeah, it's just brilliant. It's uh, very strong. I haven't had it let me down since I started using it in the spring. Um, so yeah, those two hook link materials, they need to be in the tackle box. Next up, again, not a revolutionary product by any means, but one that is invaluable for my fishing is the extra long anti-tangle sleeves. One of the syndicate lakes I fish, I'm regularly having to cast 100 yards plus. Um, and for me, uh, I can't cast those kind of distances by attaching a PVA foam nugget or a little PVA uh, stick to help prevent tangles through the air. Um, in that instance, 
I'm reliant on this extra long anti-tangle sleeve just to give me extra separation to help prevent the hook link wrapping around the back of my lead clip up my leader and causing me problems. The second uh, use and benefit that I get from these I've been on my other syndicate lake where I've been using a rowing boat a lot this year to drop rigs from the boat. The, the way I drop the rigs from the boat is I use the back wind to lower the rig down onto the spot. That means that the lead is, is basically falling through the water vertically. Having that extra long anti-tangle sleeve again is just helping prevent the hook link from wrapping around the back of the lead clip and round the, round the line and just helps to ensure that well, on the vertical drop from the boat the hook link is kicked away and no tangles occur. So yeah, a very simple product, but one that I believe makes a massive difference in my fishing and certainly in my confidence. The final product is without a doubt, the most important part of fishing full stop. It's the hook. Without a hook, you're catching nothing. So my number one choice of hook is a medium curve when I'm using the 360 rig, when I'm using a bottom bait rig, and then when I'm using the hinge stiff rig, I'm using a stiff rig beak point hook, like so. The stiff rig beak has the outturned eye and it's perfect for really stiff materials like the rigidity on the, on the hinge rig, allowing it to sit like in that claw position, ready to take hold in the bottom lip. And the beauty with the medium curve is it's designed perfectly for the 360 rig sits over again and uh, yeah it's just the optimum shape for how you want that 360 rig to work it allows you to fish a pop-up very low to the deck so that it's not too blatant off the bottom and again it's sitting cocked in that perfect position ready to grab hold as soon as the rig enters the fish's mouth two hooks i couldn't be without for my fishing